They are shooting them like dogs. Yeah. Eight o'clock, one freezing morning at the Nepalese border. At 5,700 meters altitude, it seems the time is always frozen. Dozens of Tibetans are walking in line silently through the mountains of snow, trying to reach India and see the Dalai Lama, their spiritual leader. The deep silence of the camp, where Romanian and foreign climbers gathered, is killed by a machine gun. Everybody can see a Chinese soldier standing in the shooting position. He opens fire, the bullets hit human flesh. Tibetans fall to the ground. One of them seems to escape the bullets, but is hit by a second round. He dies in the snow. As if nothing happened, the group of pilgrims walks away and never looks back. The Pro TV cameraman gets the incredible scenes on tape. He is one kilometer away from the Tibetans when he watches another victim falling down. The Danish and the British climbers are simply overwhelmed by what they see. It's very strange for me uh, to see all this thing happens, uh, to see this thing happen so, so close. Uh, I'm not used to it. I don't know what right the Chinese think they have to do things like this. There's no need to, to kill. Hours pass by. A stranger arrives in the camp. He's one of the hunted Tibetans. He hides in the toilet. You wanted to go to Dalai Lama? There's a Tibetan in the toilet behind me, hiding from the Chinese military. Another Tibetan man was shot and left to die in the snow over five hours ago. I saw the soldiers firing. Sergio makes a risky move. He helps the Tibetan with some clothes and food. I gave him some of my clothes. I also shared with him some food I had. In the distance, three Chinese soldiers count their victims. Undisturbed, they leave one body in the snow. Trying to find new information, the Chinese soldiers enter the climbers' camp. They have more than 20 prisoners, seven of them are children. For them, the pilgrimage to the Dalai Lama will end in a jail cell. The Chinese soldiers are smoking, relaxed. For them, it's just another successful mission. In spite of what all the climbers witnessed, the Chinese news agency, Xinhua, announces that Chinese frontier soldiers tried to persuade the group of Tibetans to go home, but the Tibetans refused and attacked the soldiers. These were then forced to defend themselves and to wound two persons. This is just another episode from an endless story. It started 47 years ago when the Dalai Lama was forced by the Chinese troops to flee in Dharmshala. Now the Dalai Lama heads the Tibetan government in exile from India. Just to see him or touch him, many Tibetans pay with their lives. Meanwhile, year after year, they are forced to watch their beloved religious temples turned into rubble.